maximize conversions versus maximize conversion value. So what is the difference between the maximize conversion bid strategy versus the maximize conversion value bid strategy? Now, in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly that, how, how both strategies work in Google Ads. Before I do, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications button, so when I do produce new content, you'll be the first to be notified. And if you've got any comments in terms of what strategies you use, uh, you know, type them in the description below. I'd love to hear from you. Now, so what is the main difference between a maximized conversion bid strategy and a maximized conversion value bid strategy in Google Ads? So let's start off with maximized conversions. So maximized conversions will do exactly that. It will try to get you maximum number of conversions. What is a conversion? It depends how you defined a conversion. You know, what have you set up using the tracking code? So you've got to make sure that you've installed your tracking code and you've installed your conversions within Google Ads before you start using this strategy. So, uh, so a conversion could be somebody filling in a form on your website or filling in an inquiry form or booking an appointment or clicking on a link to call you or clicking on a link to email you or downloading a guide. You define it. And that's what a maximized conversion bid strategy will try to do. Now, in order to use it, just make sure you've got a reasonable data set. So you've got enough, enough number of conversions within the last 30 days. So Google's got a bit of an idea in, ter in terms of it knows what works and what does not work. And what I recommend is have an absolute minimum of 15 conversions within the last, last 30 day period in order for this bid strategy to work more effectively. Now, what you can also do on top of that, you can layer maximize conversions with a, a, a tick box, uh, which specifies your uh, your target uh, cost per acquisition. So you can say, hey, I want maximum number of conversions, but I want them to be at this cost per acquisition. So if, for example, you're selling an item for, uh, if, if for every hundred pounds, or $100 that you spend, you're getting two conversions, that means 100 divided by two is 50. So that means your, uh, your cost per conversion currently stands at $50, right? So what you can say to Google, hey, I want to lower that a little bit. So let's make it $45, right? So uh, always go in small, small percentage, like 10, maybe 15%. Don't get too aggressive because you'll just stop the account working and Google will get confused and it will just stop working. So as much as you want to achieve it, you know, uh, lower your, uh, specify a lower cost per acquisition and let it run for two weeks and see how it goes. Now, how does the maximize conversion bid strategy differ from the maximize conversion value bid strategy? Your maximize conversion value bid strategy will attempt to drive you as much revenue as possible. Now, in order to use this bid strategy, you've got to make sure not only have you got your tracking installed, but you've got your revenue data fed into Google. So Google knows that for every time you make a sale, you know, or, or a conversion, what is the value of that conversion, right? So now, in, in one hand, you might say that, hey, if you've got a product here for $1,000 and you've got a product here for $100, well, obviously Google's gonna push this product here for $1,000, wrong. Because it could be that this product here for $1,000, you're only selling, say, one every month. Whereas this product here for $100, it could be that you're selling these, like 20 of these, uh, per 30 days, in which case the revenue that you will generate from this product will be say $2,000 compared to $1,000. So therefore Google might favor this product over that product. So it's not always that black and white in terms of, you know, how Google's going to work out, uh, what, how to drive you the maximum, uh, maximum revenue using this campaign. What I also suggest when you're using the maximize conversion uh, value bid strategy it just make sure your campaigns are sort of segmented and organized properly so that you don't have a campaign for example with uh, products which are selling you know once a month and then mixed with products we are selling like a hundred hundred of these per month try to work out um, you know uh, try to organize them so into themes in terms of in terms of 
you know how popular these products are or what the value of these products are what the revenue that you generate from these products which will make the the algorithm for google work a lot more effectively so in a nutshell the maximized conversion bid strategy will attempt to drive you maximum number of conversions the maximum conversion value bid strategy will try to increase your revenue as much as possible one other important thing to uh, note on the maximized conversion value bid strategy you can specify a target ROAS that's return on ad spend so you can say hey I want to generate a target ROAS of say 500% yeah and that's what Google will try to do so not only will it try to generate you maximum maximum revenue but it will try to achieve your your goal of, uh, of d delivering to you a ROAS of 500% like with your maximized conversion bid strategy make sure you've got some data first make sure you've got enough data so you've got at least 15 sales 15 15 plus sales within the last 30 days and that will help google to understand you know what it should be bidding on how aggressively it should be bidding um, in order to help you achieve your objective as quickly as possible and if you do make a change you know just make sure that you leave that change alone for at least two weeks so you can see how it's performing because google may go into learning mode because it's trying to relearn um what whatever strategy you you've implemented um because you might have changed from a different strategy or if you've increased your roas uh, significantly again there's a chance it might go inside learning mode so give it enough period of time so it learns so, so it's got a bit, bit bit more time to work out what it's doing and how it needs to bid so that's it guys what would be great is if you can tell me what's the bidding strategy that you use have you used maximize conversion bid strategy or have you used the maximize conversion value bid strategy and if you have what works for you, you know, what what else works for you you know above this video there'll be some other links to the um target target impression share bid strategy take check that out as well it's quite an interesting one and you'll learn a lot from it um likewise at the same time you know download my google ads ebook there'll be a link somewhere around this video and i'll show you great content about how to set up a google ads campaign and what bidding strategies you need to use within your google ads campaign so make sure you do download that guide and uh, guys i'll see you on the next video goodbye for now